Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about the different type of DR site testing plans. In this session, I have discussed, I have crafted some questions which is mapped with the type of DR testing functions. And with this video, you get a visibility about the different type of DR testing plan. Make sure you should watch this video. You must watch this video till the last because there are some small snacks which is mapped with this video. If you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can check my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. So which type of DR testing primarily address functional roles and review the plan and indicate if anything is missing or if some approaches should be modified or delete? Option A structure walkthrough. Actually, in a structure walkthrough, we literally walk through the test. Okay. To make sure everything is correct. Example like this is basically the plan we have. So we have a DR coordinator. We are basically having a discussion. Okay, after distributing the plan to everyone and check whether everything is okay, DR coordinator will read the plan and walk through the entire plan to give them idea. That is called as a structure walkthrough. Second is basically called as a checklist test. Checklist test is basically mean when DR coordinator, actually it is a first test we do, where the DR coordinator distribute the plan to all the team heads. So we have a HR head, we have a backup operator head, we have a IT head, we have a HR head, we have a finance head, we have a telecom operator head, we have a travel and advisory head, and they basically distribute the plan to everyone. And the reason behind that is that, you know, these department heads will check this, their area of the information, the plan, and just verify whether everything is accurate or not. If they find any kind of a gap, they will notify the DR coordinator. Just take an example, I am the DR coordinator, and one of the participant has raised the concern, this person has already left the facility. So can you just replace this number with this number? So this is how we try to update the plan. So that is what is happened in the case of checklist test. Simulation is actually we have a role play exercise, fire drill exercise, where we try to evacuate the facilities and all that, where we're having a discussions. And last is basically called as a parallel test. Parallel test is basically mean we are performing in the alternate sites, like hot site is the best site for testing the DR plan. So question is actually talking about three keywords. One is called role, one is called missing, okay? So that is why we will go with the answer called B, B for beta, because in a checklist test, we have to ensure everything is basically accurate and update. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. So question is, which of the following plan first validate the participants functional response capability by choosing a specific event scenarios and applying the BCP to it, focusing on demonstrating a knowledge and skill as well as team interaction and decision making capability. Definitely I'm going to eliminate two checklist tests that will not be happen here. In structure walkthrough, we literally go through the plan, but there's no discussions and all that. But simulation test is like a role based exercise where we basically do the fire drill exercise where we try to see if in the plan it is mentioned, you have to take left, you have to go right, or you have to go to that particular space and all that. So we will see how the discussion happen, how the execution happens. Uh, you know, via paper. Parallel test is something which is happening on the alternate side. So four is definitely removed. The close option is basically is three. In simulation test, we have a role based exercise. Okay, let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. So which is the first type of test that involves the actual mobilization of personal to other side in an attempt to establish the communication and perform the actual recovery processing set forth in the BCP. Definitely we removing a checklist test directly and the, and the simulation because that is something happened on the primary side. Structure walkthrough is just a discussion. So A removed. The only option is left is parallel side. Always remember that in a parallel test, we choose hot set as a best site option because that is something identical to their primary site. But cold site is very expensive to test. Remember that. So hot site is easy to test, but cold site is very expensive to test because in a cold site, we, we need to move everything to the alternate side and then we have to do the testing. That is why in this case, we're talking about mobilizing the people from one side to other side. And that is something happen in the parallel test. That's why I'm going with the answer D for Delta. Let's move to the next coffee shot. So question is, which of the following test is most cost effective in terms of both time and money? 
parallel is removed simulation is removed structure and read through if you go by the read through is basically cost effective because it is just a discussion we just checking whether list is updated or not and the name of the read through table top is also called as a checklist test so don't get confused another name of a read through and table top is also called as a checklist test checklist test okay that's where the answer is b for beta okay which type of test primary can find issues such as incorrectly configured alternate site or incomplete data backup so option is structure walk through the keyword is talking about incorrectly configured alternate site so we here we testing whether in uh, whether alternate site is correctly configured or not so option is structure walk through option b read through test option c simulation and option d parallel so when i say option a structure walk through that is something happened within the same site so a definitely removed if you go by b read through test we just reading a document which is a check checklist simulation it's also happening in the primary side which is like a role play parallel is something we perform in the alternate side that's why called the best side for testing is hot side so here the answer is basically d for delta parallel test because that is how we can able to validate whether my alternate side is working correctly or not because by end of the day i'm performing a dr testing activity in the alternate site only and when i'm doing a testing my goal is to just check whether plan is accurate can i move the operation from primary to secondary is my secondary is capable for holding all kind of an operations and all that that's where the answer is d for delta and that is how we can able to check the inaccuracy of the alternate site let's move to the next coffee shot which type of testing dr plan is most effective for checking the resilience of an organization definitely structure walk through is not an option read through by just reading a plan you cannot check the resiliency because resiliency is all about checking the absorption of the failure how capable they are have to handle the disruption or continue the services so this is also removed simulation is basically removed because that is more like a role play exercise full interruption we perform on the primary site okay where we inform the management inform the customer and then we shut down the servers and see whether we can able to restore in the define mtd okay that's where the answer is basically d for delta full interruption test that is only the close option we have which we perform on the primary site let's move to the next coffee shot which type of testing dr plan is most intrusive to a regular operation and business productivity intrusive is basically most impactful a b c definitely removed the only is basically full interruption because full interruption we perform on the primary site because if i say we have a site 1 and we have a site 2 so everything is basically operate from a site 1 okay example so we performing a structure walk through in a site one we do the read walk through in a site one we do the simulation on a site one parallel then we do on the alternate side where we testing a dr plan the best side is called as a hot side for testing a dr plan if the plan is effective and accurate then we perform on the primary side where we shut down the server and see can we able to restore in the server one so when you doing such kind of a thing it's more intrusive and it will definitely impact my business productivity and all that that's why the close option is basically d for delta okay so let's go with the next coffee shot which of the following is the most cost effective and process efficient way to keep the plan up to date is to incorporate in the organization see when it come to the patch management patch management is a only one time activity like deploying the patches and work is done configuration management is all about all about managing a configuration change management is all about tracking the changes and incident management is all about reduce the impact question talking most cost effective and process efficient see when we doing a dr testing and all that any kind of a gap we identify even in the configuration but in order to update the configuration we need a change management process because through the change management only we track and update the changes in the bcp and dr plan even when you deploying the patches they lead to the change in the configuration and that change in the configuration need to go through a change management process and if there is a incident management incident deal with the incident we reduce the impact we altering some configuration again we need to raise a request for change so the close option is basically c for charlie so when we doing a testing of the dr plan any kind of a gap we identify in the plan and everything so by the change management request we basically update the plan that is why the answer is c so let's have some snacks okay so let's discuss about the snacks 
which is a summary of this coffee shot if you can see the tabletop okay exercise it is also called as a read through exercise as i said dr coordinator distribute the plan to everyone and make them aware about the plan check if everything is updated details are not mismatch and everything whatever is basically defined it will be verified by the respective stakeholder as i said example like there is a travel team and there is a one person who take care of the travel part they check in the list they found the old name was mentioned so they have raised the concern please update the new name so by this kind of an exercise we try to update the plan so that is something happen in the tabletop exercise then second is called as a walk through drill walk through drill is like we using a specific event scenario let's let's okay we have now plan in place okay let's have a discussion how this plan is going to execute suppose you are a backup coordinator i am a system operator we have to execute how we going to execute so that discussions happening in a walk through because in a first first task we just checking whether plan having a accurate details but in the second part which is called as a walk through drill we are actually executing uh, the activity within the cabin okay suppose you are a dr coordinator you are the system administrator let's see how we going to execute the plan so that is something is part of a walk through drill once we done with that we actually perform a simulation in a simulation what happen is we doing a fire drill exercise role playing with a simulated response where we demonstrating a knowledge and skill thin line difference with the walk through and simulation is walk through dr coordinator walk through the plan like a uh, imagination scenarios and all that but simulation is practically we trying to validate the plan example if in the plan it is mentioned seven step next we have a left uh, door and all that we will execute we'll see the seven step do we have a door or not okay and uh, drill exercise when we talking about drill exercise fire drill is a part of a simulation next is basically called as a parallel so we have a site one and we have a site two so we go to the alternate site and there we basically perform the dr activity okay so ideally the best site is basically the hot site and expensive is basically cold site that's why the alternate site is mentioned first mobilization initiatives ideally best site is a hot site cold site is expensive to test but one concern is that some employees are moving to the alternate site so it impact the productivity and another reason of doing this parallel test is to just check whether my alternate site has a educate configuration because tomorrow if i want to migrate in the case of disaster they should be educate the site should be educate and once we done the testing there we do the testing in the primary site that is called as a full interruption it is basically um, we perform one time in a year it is one of the comprehensive type of test high cost and there is a potential for disrupting the normal operations so remember something in parallel side we have a uh, disruption simulation we have a small level of productivity impact because during a disaster we do, we called as a fire drill exercise some employee will leave the space and all that so simulation also have a so productivity impact start from simulation actually because people are leaving the building then we have a more impact in parallel and then we have a high impact in the full interruption so summary is that the first part is tabletop we read the plan walk through i'm going to dictate the plan i'm going to explain the plan how this plan is going to work simulation is we have a fire drill exercise role play exercise then we have a parallel test we go to the alternate side there we doing a testing and finally we have a full interruption test which we perform on the primary side So this is all from my side if you find this session useful do let me know in the comment box do let me know what is the next video shall i make i'm happy to receive your feedbacks by which i try to improve my training and if you still get new to my subscriber list please to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos on a similar topic this is prab thank you for watching my video bye